Good evening. Thank you very much for being with us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. Deb is off tonight fighting crime at max stops with classical music. We first told you about TriMet's pilot program in January, and believe it or not, it's apparently working. Now, the program is in response to a proposed bill from Oregon lawmakers. The idea is that the soothing sounds will reduce loitering and lower crime at trouble stops. TriMet first started testing the program at the MAC station at 162nd and Burnside. Since then, the mayor says it's reduced police calls by 40 percent. Well, K2's Anita Kase is live tonight. Anita, why do they think this is working? Well, Steve, one thought is that the music is calming, but the other idea is that most of the time the people who cause problems at max stops like this one are 18 to 25, and they don't particularly care for classical music, so they aren't hanging around. Tune out the traffic, and you'll hear classical music quietly serenading max riders at 162nd and Burnside. Since being piped in, police say crime at this stop is down 40 percent. I don't see how I would do that. Uh, it's kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> you don't like it? You're not no. a fan? Uh -uh, I'm not. <laughs> police don't care if the music is your taste. They prefer it's not. Does it keep you from wanting to hang around? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's that bad. Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> it's just classical music. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not that bad. I, li I, I like all kinds of music, but... I mean, after 20 minutes of listening to that, especially waiting for your train in the cold, yeah, I think you'd want to get on the max quick. While crime at other nearby stations is up, over the two-month test, police have had 33 fewer calls here than during the same time last year. The equipment that pipes in the music is on loan right now, but if police and TriMet decide it's working, the price to equip each platform is about $3,600. I hope that they just enjoy their classical music, and if it's something that we can use in other spots, we'll give it a try. I guess you could say it does have some kind of therapeutic effect. And for this rider, brutally stabbed at this stop last year, He's glad to see police and TriMet try something. You know, there are some conscious efforts being made by those who actually care. Now, because a lot of people are not hanging around at these platforms during the winter, TriMet's going to extend this test into the spring, maybe also into the summer. And if it's determined that the music is, in fact, the reason for the dip in crime, and if lawmakers sign on, you could see those coming to MAC stations like this one as well. Live in Northeast Portland, Anita Kasey, K2 News. Whatever the reason, if it's working, it's working, right? Anita, thank mm -hmm. you very much for that.